What is going on, fellow traders? It's Wolf. Welcome to a new episode of the Wolf Den Trader Takeaways. Today is Thursday, August 8th. It's summer, baby. With that nice Florida breeze coming in through the office window. I can see the ocean if I look way, way back. Uh, today, a little bit uh, more gappers in the morning. Some nice volume coming in. It's still earnings season. Still got the big boys playing mid caps and large caps. But overall, nice opportunities today. We had some nice fades. Just go ahead and roll right over to executions. Rebecca, thank you so much. Now, we're going to start off today with WKHS, that workhorse. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the name. Uh, here's executions. Uh, here's executions itemized right here. Uh, workhorse is up. They had a, a large sell-off. Let's take a look at the the five-day, five-minute chart. Remember the day we had some China, uh, some stuff going on with China. The trade, the trades talks were going on. We had a, a nice sell-off, so we're trying to recover from that. The five-day, five-minute chart shows a 356 point of control right here, and we're just coming back up into that level. Um, we traded this yesterday as well. Um, we 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 set our target at 331, I believe. Yeah, it's 331. We got a partial fill, as they said, executions are here. So we got a partial fill on that, and we thought it was, I thought it was going to come back, and it didn't. So I just let the remainder of the shares just just ride up, and I, I was planning on uh, sizing in. You know, I didn't think it was going to go this high, but we were watching the order flow. Shout out to the guys in the room who were trading this. Um, we put together some theses. Some guys traded this better than I. Uh, so I top ticked the the top part as well. I got a full fill on this, which is nice. And then I just started piecing it out. Uh, these are third targets, one third, one third, one third. And then I still have a tiny bit left. Uh, my targets are uh, again down here by the the um, the decision point. Let's take a look real quick at the jumbotron. This is going to be a shorter video. It's kind of late. Shout out to the guys in the room, EQ Armor, our moderator Elliot. These guys are just uh, Trav. These guys are still up talking in the room, talking shop. We're going over filings, just getting a little bit better every single day. We're getting that raw data off the float, the uh, the def 14A and the proxies. Man, these guys are good. These guys, you know, talent is contagious. Hard work is contagious. So here's the three-year chart on Workhorse. Now 10 bucks, and we're just kind of fading down. Uh, you know, sub a dollar fifty. Like I said, here's that main consolidation. We've gone over this before, but this is, in my opinion, this is fair market value for this for this stock. Um, we do have earnings on eight six. They didn't. TOS is not reporting the earnings. I don't know if they're if they filed for a delay on that or not. But let's just go ahead and take a look at this consolidation. Um, Right here at 329 is where I like this thing. You can see it's been respected and it's tested it. It's held as resistance. Now it's acting as support. And the main reason, right, the candles are for show. I like the volume. Look at this volume cliff right here. Um, so look at that. This is a beauty of a consolidation. This, in my opinion, as I just said, is fair market value. Uh, with that being said, back over to executions. And that's really it. Um, we took some profit on this one. It was a decent trade. Now let's go to a loser. We are still short NPTN. NPTN is just a headache. This thing is giving me nightmares. I'm still short from day one. Uh, we execution wise, we did well on it. We we've, we've taken realized profit out of the move. Um, we're we're net we're net and gross red unrealized but we're green realized and we're working our average up now today is the day that i was gonna unwind this position out and we got this nice look at this pop right here these guys are good you know just when i'm getting to know the manipulation on this very very high institutional ownership so I, I, I add, they caught me down here. I add into the pop. I had some more size right here at 360. I'm not going to chase this thing. I've been watching the order flow for three days now. I know the manipulation level. And look, they printed a little push and flush, which is nice. They're trying to catch shorts down here. But then look, they, they come back up. Let's zoom in on this because I want to show you guys this. This is uh, professional manipulation. In my opinion, this is all speculative information. So they come back up and they're just sitting here right now they're trying to entice shorts is what they're doing they get a nice little flush this was very spready right here the volume on this candle 
was 30,000 in relation to to the day, you know, so they're sparking interest right here and then they give it, you know, one two, they give it about 15 15 minutes just right here, just trying to trap. This is a trap and then they just squeeze they squeeze whoever was in here and then I I jumped in on top of the squeeze a bit early. But I did, I did catch the top of the move, and then I'm just starting to unwind this out. Finally, I was nervous on this one. This is the last day of strength. I, I need to exit this position, and I'm going to exit this position. Um, this is a good lesson. I've been fighting this thing unnecessarily, fighting this thing, wasting mental capital, wasting capital. Uh, we're still in a good position as of right now. And then we have this, uh, this Hail, Hail Mary flush is basically what I'm calling it. I took a good chunk off here at 618. There's a large seller that showed his hand. Um, I think he showed like a 200 lot. He showed 20,000 shares on the offer at 618 last minute, um, you know, right before 20, 20 hundred hours. And, you know, he's got more size than that. That's all I'm going to say. So hopefully we'll see him on the tape tomorrow. Um, hopefully he's an aggressive seller. I'm not sure what's going on. And then uh, right now, the last print was at 594. So we're getting close to my average 594. I'm not expecting this to, to be here in the morning. Um, you know, I don't want to get speculative on this because I'm down on the name. So my advice is not that good, but we're, we should see some type of strength uh, and manipulation. But that's all speculative, like I said. But we want this thing back down to 550s and we want to take it green, baby. That's the goal. Uh, we'll see. And then Weight Watchers WW is the last trade. It's going to be a short video today. Also, too, a side note, I really want to give a shout-out to uh, to the guys in the room. Today, when I woke up at 7 a.m., I go into the room, and these guys are already Wolfpack mentality on the firelings. Just a very, very talented group of guys. We have a diverse group, and these guys are good. <laughs> these guys are good, man. We have guys who have strong points. You know, some are sh showing strength on the 424s and the prospectuses. Other guys are showing strength here. It's just a really good – group of guys we have newer traders who are just working their faces off coming up learning getting that one percent better every single day and i want to give respect and acknowledgement when it's due because it's definitely due for these guys these guys are the hardest working guys in the business and my hat's off to you guys your work ethic is contagious baby all right so here we are work uh weight watchers we were in i think it was like a like a, oh yeah that's right i put some size on at 30 bucks at the bell yesterday if you uh, want to see executions on this one just rewind the tape to yesterday baby we were we had about 100 what was that the day i had 126 executions i'm not sure but we channel traded this um we traded this from like 30 and we we took this dollar channel for a ride right we took it for a nice ride and then we added at this very top right here at 30 ended up carrying a decent amount over more than I normally do and I remember my average was like 2076 and I do remember saying at the end of yesterday's video that this this move right here didn't really interest me too much because of the low after hour liquidity and then again we got the same nonsense in pre-market the same type of movement same type of volume same type of manipulation in my opinion then ding 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 we open up Spies not too strong. The cues weren't extraordinarily strong, but the market did have some strength today, uh, and I'll just say that. But we had a nice little sell-off, and these targets were all set in front of the tape. Uh, I had one more that didn't get filled at 29.03 or 29.02, and I just let that one ride. It was like the remaining hundred shares or something, and then I was kind of stepping away from this one. We had a lot of a lot of faders. I missed OSS. NBev was running. You know, we had some activity going on, so. Once these as these targets were filling, I'm just looking at other plays. I missed Embev pre-market OSS. Shout out to the guys who just smacked that one around today, and uh, it's just an overall just a relaxed day. I wanted to spend some more time, especially watching the tape and the order flow on NPTN because I got to make a decision on that. I can't fight the strength on this, and we already talked about that trade. So here I am again, jumping in too early, and I highlighted my mistakes. If you ever see this box right here, this. Uh, the penalty box is what I call it. I like to highlight my bad trades, right? A lot of, a lot of, I guess I shouldn't speak on behalf of other, other YouTubers or other discord room runners or whatever you want to call them. But you know, we don't hide our trades. We welcome and we embrace the losers. So when I make a mistake, 
I want to highlight it and showcase it. I think I've told some of the guys in the room, I'm going to print them out, print these charts out and put them in my bathroom wallpaper. You know, I want to study these. We study the losers and we stack the winners. That's our motto. So here I am making mistakes. I'm leaning in far too early and I didn't figure this out to the end of the day. No one's selling under VWAP and no one's buying under VWAP and no one's selling above VWAP. I mean, this is a larger cap stock. Let's take a look and just see real quick. Weight Watchers is a two, they closed today, two billion and 10 million. So they're, they're, you know, technically a medium cap, but they're, you know, a larger cap than what we're used to. They have 67.2 million shares outstanding and they specialize in overweight women. That's what TOS says. I, I didn't make that up. All right. So here we are. Now, this is a trap right here. I wanted to highlight this one. If you can see, we we're at VWAP and we flush. Now, this basing right here at 29.50 is a indication that sellers are not, there's no follow through on to the downside and, or there's some bid soaking. I don't remember, but this was an opportunity to trim. And I did not, I added because I like the emotional spike. This is a one minute candle. You know, we had we had 20 cents on one minute, which is relatively a little bit larger than, than these normal candles, maybe two or three times larger than one minute relativity. So I jumped on it. But look, it's like it's sitting right on top of VWAP. This is support. Um, there was a bad, it was bad. Look, micro support here, micro resistance, micro support. So this 20, this 20, this $30 and 29.70 lines respected. And this, I don't want to, I'm just, this, these are ad, these ads are bad. This is bad trading. I'm high, you know, I'm highlighting it. We're talking about it. I'm not trying to shy away from it. I don't know what to say, except these are emotional ads, you know, now looking at it in hindsight, I can tell all of the reasons why, why once I jumped in here, why didn't I cut? Why did I continue to add and add and add? Like why? I don't know because I'm not emotionally stable enough to make the right decisions in the moment in the battle. Um, you know, I know that I'm, I know that I'm going to, how I'm going to trade it, what I'm going to cut, but I'm just not, this is bad. This is, uh, I don't know. I just, it bothers me. Let's just leave it at that and keep moving. So then this is a nice consolidation right here. And then we get a nice flush. Now this is basically, uh, you know, I'm stopping out from a 29.6581 average, which is right here. So here's my average off this. Uh, I still have a very, 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 very select few shares from up here from at 30. But this push right here average was at 29.65, right? So I'm at 29.65 and then I'm cutting at 75. So I'm taking a 10 cent loss off of this. Nine cents if you count my, my yesterday's swing into it. But it doesn't make it right. It just gives me the ability to not donate too much to the market but then we get a nice push and now i'm looking for that lower high and i'm looking for more of a scalper mentality because i can't this thing's just not going to fade weight watchers isn't going to drop their pants and just fade for the whole day um this is a larger cap this is a legit company uh their milkshakes are delicious so then i'm i'm trimming right here on top of vwap i had another ad out or another ad another cover right here um at like 29.84 maybe and it didn't get filled so we push up again i'm just trying to scalp the strength i'm back into more of a scalper mentality which is more of my niche my i'm better at that i guess you could say and then i put the star on top of the tree right here uh with uh with a partial fill that's right i had two par top tick partial fills on workhorse and on weight watchers now I only took 10% of what I wanted. And like I said, in the room, top ticks, they look pretty on the chart, but in 60% of the time, I don't get a full size. So I would rather I've gotten a full size fill five cents below, you know, and I do know that I have a lot of shares. So I'm just unloading the position right here. That's all it is. I have shares still from here and I have shares still from the swing. And this is not, these shares are out of the money. Only these shares right here are in the money. And I ended up, um, Weight Watchers, red, unrealized red. 
I still have shares. I'm realized green. My average right now is 29.7279. And I just took some off in the money right here. And we were starting to show a little bit of weakness. So a lot of learning on this chart. A lot of learning on this chart. Basically a watch trade. If we gap down, if we fade, we should fade tomorrow is my, my thesis. Uh, you know, it'll be a profitable trade. But again, here, a, a nice bottom tick. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> 29.56. I must have got a partial on that too. How many fills did I get on that? Okay. Uh, but it, look, again, the red, red, red on the tape, and they got me. You know, what am I doing selling support? A lot of mistakes on this trade. And then again, because I'm in too early, I don't want to miss anything. I want to take every opportunity I can to raise my average. Again, raise my average, and then back to normal trading on a legit extension um, right here. So a, a lot of learning on this chart. And my the beginning of the week started off strong, and the mid part of the week is not as well. So this is going to be a busy, busy weekend, and we're gonna we're gonna study charts and we're gonna read a couple books is what we're gonna do. All right. So the runners, we take a look at the runners uh, from today. Possibly will be in play tomorrow. R L G Y. Now right away I see some technical manipulation on this. Um, Eddie, uh, guy in the room was getting a. Um, he was losing mental capital watching the tape on this. I believe this was the one. Uh, he he he. Uh, shout out to Eddie, man. Just learning the tape. You know, continue doing that. And he, he got out with a nice cover at 55, I believe. So good job reading the tape. We identified the market maker on that, we believe. And uh, we're educating and learning how to track players. OSS was a nice fade. Shout out to the guys in the room who caught this one. Look at this one kind of curling up. You know, uh, they had earnings and a conference call going on right now. We'll see what happens with that tomorrow. PBYI, now we put this in the room. This was a, a, a trash push off of trash earnings. And we identified some, uh, some dirt in the room. Shout out to Omar for pulling that up. And EQ, these guys are just nasty on these filings. Um, you would think that they're corporate attorneys. GoGo -Go is also on watch. This thing kind of closed strong, closed at about 90% of the, uh, the the daily highs. Look at this resistance right here. We're going to be watching that level tomorrow. And then look at this support. These levels are higher time frame. These levels are taking off the three-year chart, not the intraday chart. So when, when the intraday lines up with the higher time frame, uh, we know that the the action is uh, either organic or there is respectful, and that's what we like. AMRS, AMRS, look at this little squeeze end of day. We like that. That's the type of manipulation that interests us. We're going to be watching that. That's AMRS. And then DERM, D-E-R-M. Look at this little, um, I don't know anything about this stock, but I do know that they just had earnings. They just had their conference call, and they have a low liquidity push in to into the uh the pre-market and then just an instant sell-off so i'm thinking that these guys just took the low liquidity advantage of pushing to try to count be counterintuitive to the earnings that are about to come out that's just a thesis but that's how i think i'm always thinking like uh like how i would do it if i was the ceo of the company or if i was in control of the manipulation uh that's right because we want to get to the next level you know we want to become a mid-sized player and then a large player. We got to act like it. We got to think like it. Always think like the next level. And with that being said, shout out to all the guys who leveled up today and definitely three or four guys in the room leveled up this week. We really appreciate it. And uh, it's contagious, baby. All right, so that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Everyone be safe. Leave some comments. Leave some questions. And if you guys haven't yet subscribed, you might as well do it because we're going to be putting out videos every single day. All right, man. Take Thank you and take care. Be safe.